last time on No Match MDs, I talked about the creative solutions state by state that they're doing to create new legislation. What is the American Medical Association doing? According to the Council on Medical Education, the AMA recognizes the funding and distribution of residency positions for graduate medical education are, quote, in crisis in the U.S. and that meaningful and comprehensive reforms are urgently needed, end quote. This report focused only on U.S. medical school seniors and does not include international medical graduates. Currently, 25% of practicing physicians in the U.S. are graduates of international medical schools. Many of these are U.S. citizens who attended international medical schools. And here are some of the points made in this report. There is a predicted physician shortage of between 46,000 and 90,000 physicians by 2025. The overall match rate for U.S. and international medical graduates was 75.2%. The majority of the 25% not matching are international medical graduates. There has been a continuous growth of U.S. medical schools and increased enrollment. There has been limited growth in graduate medical education due to federal funding, the Affordable Care Act. The AMA will strenuously advocate for legislation along with the Association of American Medical Colleges to increase federal funding of graduate medical education. Medical school seniors, fear of being a loser, have caused residency applicants to apply to an average of 47 programs to avoid not matching into a residency. This uh, application rate is up 20% in the last five years. This has forced program directors to use USMLE scores and quantitative criteria as a numeric cut point rather than perform an in-depth review of every application. USMLE scores alone are not predictors of success in residencies. The AMA is opposed to state legislation for licensing untrained doctors on the basis of patient safety and quality of care concerns. If the AMA says the number of graduate medical education positions is in crisis, it does not support state legislation for licensing unmatched doctors. How can this catastrophic deficit in residency slots be rectified before these fully educated and qualified doctors are forced to leave medicine? More than 40,000 doctors have not matched already in the last five years. Why isn't the plight of unmatched international medical graduates as crucial as that of graduates of U.S. medical schools, since 42% of the international graduates in 2016 were also U.S. citizens? Are U.S. medical schools better than international medical schools? Are the U.S. graduates smarter than international medical graduates? Please share this blog with your colleagues and legislators.